Wicked is releasing in theaters next month, and I found all of the Funko Pops early! Here's how it went down. Someone had direct messaged me on Instagram saying that they were showing up at a store here in Canada. That store being Shoppers Drug Mart, and it looked like they had an entire display that was green just for these. I thought to myself, surely they wouldn't have them out at mine yet, but I went down there and I checked the other sections first. Of course, I had to. The larger section of Funko Pops hadn't been updated yet, and the Halloween area, they had the same usual ones with no Chase Nosferatu. But everybody, to my surprise, I found every single one of the Wicked Pops, and of course, I had to get them, so let's go through it. Oh, and by the way, for good luck, I also wore my green Crocs, and I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I also saw that there was Wicked Crocs coming out, and I'll probably have to get them closer to when the movie releases. I know, anyways, everybody getting into the first one here, we have Madame Morrible, of course, the headmistress of the university. And now, not even just talking about her, with every single one of these figures, the boxes look amazing. I love how they did the gold around the characters. And taking a look at the side, the way they did the stained glass, it really is cool. The only thing that I wish is that the white was like also green or pink, but besides that, it's pretty perfect. And now, of course, I've got to take this one out of the box because it looks like her dress has some pretty nice detail that I have to take a look at. Oh, wow. They really put a lot into this. The way they made it kind of like gold spec speckled all over, and then she also has her hair in this kind of like, I don't know what you would call it, maybe it's a bun, I'm not exactly sure, but it's pinned back, and you can see they actually put some detail here too. Pretty neat, Funko, you did a great job. Now everybody, next up here, we have a bunch of Glinda, and I guess we'll get into this one here, which is normally a Target exclusive, but for some reason, I was able to get it today. I don't even know if it's showing up in stores yet, but I thought it was a cool one, and I definitely had to get it. This is Glinda in red dress, even though the dress is a lot pinker in person. And now mind you, it still does look a little bit red. There's probably just like some orange mixed in with it, so it kind of makes it look a little pink. And again, let's take this one out. All right, you know what, taking her out here, it definitely does look like her. Oh, and this is interesting. The amount of detail they put into the dress, even on the backside, it's pretty much the same all the way around. But taking a look at her hair, they also added this flower kind of like clip, maybe? And I don't know, it's something you couldn't see unless you took it out of the box. Oh, and also, speaking of Target exclusive, this is the only one that I was able to get today, but there are a few other ones. There's the two-pack, which is another version of Glinda as well as Alphabot, and those ones look really great, but they just didn't have it. So maybe when it gets close to the movie, we'll have to actually go out and look for those ones, because I heard the Target's gonna have a giant wicked section. I'm gonna wanna check it out. And anyway, speaking of Alphabot, let's take a look at her next, because I've got the only figure of her that I was able to pick up today. Again, another really fun one, and what I like about this here is the way they did, I guess it's kind of like her cape and how it looks like it's like blowing in the wind, but she also has the broom, and her hair has some amazing detail as well. Also, if you didn't know, there's an exclusive of this one available on Amazon where she is a diamond edition covered in glitter. There's also the Glinda diamond edition, which is going to Hot Topic, so those are more of the ones that I do not have yet and will have to get them soon, because I mean, come on, these all look really great. You know what else I just noticed is the way they did the broom and how it looks like it's twisting all the way up, almost like it grew that way, like very naturally, and then the end of it. Looks like it's kind of been like cut off. I don't know. There's just so many little things with this character. You love to see it. Alrighty, now everybody, we are getting back into Glinda's, and this one is Glinda in Nightgown. And now something you might not notice right away, but it's something that I really enjoy on Pops. Something, something. I know I'm saying something too many times. I'll stop saying it, but the way that Funko does their clear pieces really is great. And with this one here, her nightgown is actually translucent. I mean, come on. Look Look at how cool that is. It's also, now that I've taken it out of the box, a little bit rubbery and kind of moves around a bit. Definitely a neat addition to the character. And I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. And I feel like if you're going for a Glinda, this could be a cool one to pick up because of that. Now, everybody, steering away from Glinda a bit, we have a new character that we haven't talked about yet. And I'm gonna be honest with you here. I'm gonna try to pronounce his name. I believe it's Furo or Firo. I don't know, and I apologize about 
about that. But here's what I do know. I will have his name down pat by the time the movie releases. And I don't know. No, he's not in like the original Wizard of Oz. This is a new character for this movie. And here's the thing. It might not be new for Wicked in general. It's probably, he's probably in the play. Have I seen the play though? No. Should I watch it? Maybe now that the movie's coming out. And anyways, taking a look at him out of the box here, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Out of every single one of the characters, he's probably the simplest one. But this is of course what he looks like. So it's not really Funko's fault. But I will say though, the way they did his suit is really well done with the way that it's kind of like flapped over there on the top, the details and how they're golden on the dark blue, and then the sleeves there also having a similar detailing. And taking a look at the hair, it really does look accurate. I'm a big fan of this one, even though, like I said, it is one of the simpler ones, it's still really cool. Now let me grab the last exclusive that I was able to pick up today. This one normally is a Funko Shop one, but we have the wizard. And now from the looks of it here, I believe he's played by Jeff Goldblum. I mean, it definitely looks like his face, and I remember him being in the movie. I gotta watch the trailer again. Like I mentioned earlier, it is so far out from the film, so we've got about a month and a half till it releases, so I'm kind of keeping up with it, but I gotta really dive into it a little bit more and what's released so far around it. But anyways, looking at him a little bit closer up, because of course I've gotta take it out of the box here, I believe, actually, now that I think about it, this would be the first time we've ever seen him out of the box, because Funko hasn't released this one yet. And now, of course, taking a look at the pop, I love that he's got the green suit because of course he is from Emerald City. You can see he's got like all of the emeralds around him and the way they did the lined pants there. I mean, come on, that's some great detailing. And so even when it's just little stuff like that, it really does elevate the character to look more and more like them. I mean, come on, that's cool. And now everybody, of course, we have Glinda in bubble gown. And I wanna take this one out because I'm seeing another clear bit. It's her bubble wand and this thing really does look cool and I don't know how they did it where it's like such a long piece of like vinyl but it's just so straight at the same time. It used to happen a lot with the Star Wars characters where the, you know, the lightsabers would be a little bit floppy, but I think from a product of that, it's gotten much, much better. And take a look at this one here. Also, I'm just noticing her tiara or crown also is kind of translucent. Probably because of the amount of detail that they had to put into it. And wow, it is amazing how much they did with this one. Also, another thing that I find really neat is the way they did the bottom of her. And normally I would think it would just be flat but if you take a look they actually put her feet and the bottom of the dress down there that is some pretty great stuff and again just taking a look at the wand it almost looks like a snowflake on the top it really is crazy come on if you haven't picked up any of these yet or if you're thinking of getting them i definitely recommend it and now i understand everybody i've said in the past that i'm not the biggest fan of people pops but i think these ones here are a pretty big exception because my test is if you took them out of the box and put them on the shelf, would somebody point it out and be like, I know who that is. So would you say, hey, that's Alpha Bar. Hey, that's Glinda. You definitely would. And now, like I said, everybody, I will be trying to get the rest of these figures before the movie releases because I really do want to have this entire set complete because it is pretty great. And so I guess if you're thinking of picking up some of these for your collection, they are showing up in stores now and I recommend getting them before it's too close to the movie because I have a feeling this is going to be a big deal and people are going to want to start picking them up. So get your Glindas and your Alpha Buzz now and hey, of course, get the Wizards too. Pick up who whoever you want for your collection. And anyways, this was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow.